Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here, so t welcome. I know, I've got gloves on. Uh, welcome to today's video. It is a club. This is Craft for Christmas uh, with our lovely Claire. Uh, so we are doing, this month we've decided to do a book cover um, and so create any book. What The only thing that we've sort of said is it has to include some sort of wooden piece. Um, and then on top of that, we can do anything that we want. So I've chose this gorgeous bubble um, wooden piece. This has actually come from Samantha K Crafts, I think um, it's called. And it's absolutely beautiful. So that's something that I want to put on. The other thing that I've got is I've got a couple of um, letters here. Um, so, I mean, I was thinking that maybe I could add these on, not in any sort of particular um, word or anything. It's just, just for, um, yeah, just to build character to our piece. Now, I am going to cover these. These haven't, um, yeah, they didn't, they weren't fully cured when I unmoulded them. So, I made a silly mistake on that one. Um, I quite like that in the corner. Let's open that up because, yeah. So this book I got from The Works. It was £2. I'm not sure if they're still the same price. I've had it quite a while. Um, and it's just a craft card stock one. Um, so the plan today is we are going to do a book cover and we are also going to package up that book cover um, so that it is ready to gift out at Christmas to whoever we want to gift it to because um, that's the whole purpose of this um, collab that we've decided to oh I love that that we've decided to do um, so that we have something that is ready now I've got a few other bits in here now I found this um, which somebody sent me um, and it's just a piece of texture so actually um, I'm going to pop that on as well I thought you know what that texture is beautiful and we do need to, to use it um, Although I'm thinking that maybe just not as many letters. Um, so I'll actually put the I maybe on that one. Um, yeah, because I really like that and it was sent to me and I, I think it's something I'd really like to use. Um, like I say, it's just all random. Oh, I could put a C on for Claire, couldn't I? Just in there. Hmm. Oh, I don't even think I've got any. Uh, oh, tails. Yep, that's all I can spell is tails. Um, or dial. Dials. Pails. Uh, anything to do with mixed media, I don't know. Sail. Yeah. Oh, don't know. I don't know whether to. I don't want it to be like super super chunky either I mean I'm loving down there maybe it's just the letter that I've just chosen oh pal oh I like that actually oh, pals so um, yeah so this is me just trying to make a word but yeah see it's I, I want this to be added on but I do want to have Oh, actually, do you know what? I've got a friend called Pat. If she doesn't watch my channel, thank goodness. Although she might do. <laughs> Hi, Pat. Um, I could do this for her for Christmas. Yeah. And actually have a name on. Oh. I want, I'm going to bring that back up do that oh do you know what i like it yeah we're gonna do that so i'm gonna actually yeah and i've got a few other bits in here i've got this um or orchid flower which i thought would look quite nice i've got an owl because it's me i'm liking 
and then I've got some hearts and then I found these um, bits which I think again were gifted to me um, and they are and I thought they would be perfect to add something to it I'm loving this actually um, so maybe because I am going to stick them on I'm going to use my hot glue gun though for those and I do have some corners but the corners I'm going to actually put on last I love that just that as is so i'm going to get rid of all these because we're not going to use them um yeah and then oh my goodness i think power of that so yeah so um i'm trying not to say who things are for um but i do have people in mind when um i'm doing uh i'm going to be having people in mind so yeah um pat if you're watching this try and forget <laughs> although i might have to tell her not to watch it so what i'm doing now so I'm going to lift these bits up a second and I need to put my hot glue gun on. Now this is all going to be painted um, white so that either white, yeah I think white uh, but it'll need a couple of coats of white gesso so that it's all one colour and then I'll come in with my colour. Now like I said we are going to be coming in as well with our um, to create a box or we create a bag something that we can gift this into because the plan is yes we can just make our presents but when it comes to Christmas we haven't got time to make the present look really nice um, sometimes we just run out of time I found that December is always a busy month um, and yeah I think being able to wrap something really pretty in a nice bag you can just put some wrapping paper over the top of it or you can leave it so if you run out of time it's already done for you um which i think is fab so you stick that down make sure it's away from the spine and then i'm going to grab this bit i'm just going to put some really big dollops of uh glue on there and then just spread that around so that it's all glued in fine okay might be a bit too much in there but all good and then that's just going to go there so thank you whoever sent me that it's absolutely beautiful um, I do keep everything because eventually it does, you know, I find the perfect project for it. Um, okay, right. So there's that. And then we're going to stick that on there. And I'm using gel medium because I'm using different mediums. Um, and I want them to be permanently stuck. I don't want, you know, my friend to receive this and then it just fall apart on her so gel medium is your best friend with this so make sure let's pop so now that I can see where that is I'm just going to make sure there's just a little bit extra so that's going to go there now this is where I'm going to grab the glue gun but I am going to use my gel medium as well um, but I'm going to use the glue gun to sort of adhere stuff down let me grab it um there we go yeah um i'm going to use the glue gun to adhere it down like now um and then hopefully when it's dry actually didn't i have it on yeah i had it on there okay so i'm making sure to put plenty of gel medium on here um because we want that to stay I'm hoping it stay. It should stay. I can't see why it wouldn't. Um, as long as we're patient, <laughs> me patient. That will be a first, right? Okay. And then I'm going to use. So we've got that gel medium on there in three points to dry. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put because I know that I want them. And it's just going to add to the texture as well. I'm just going to put a nice dollop there. And then I'm going to pop this on. But we're going to use our glue gun. When it uh, does it. Actually, if I, I'm just going to position it so I know where I want these. 
Okay, yeah. And then not quite ready, Dawn. Stop being impatient. Oh, I think that's going to look gorgeous. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, so I'm going to stick that there like so and then I'm going to get a dollop of my glue gun on here I'm going to stick that on there because like I said this is going to give it oh no it's not quite because of yeah put glue dot there and then I'm just going to sit that in there like that so there's that one and then this one glue dot there and push that in so I'm flattening out that glue dot as well and then I'm just going to pop because what I'll do I think is put a flower on as well on this just to hide this section so that's fine and then I'm going to just oh, um, to use the scissors just to push that down because otherwise these are just going to pop up and hopefully it should, should hold it. Right, I'm just going to pop a little bit more gel medium just around this point here because I know that that point needs to be quite strong. And then I'm just going to come in and put a bit more around there. Now we are, like I said, I will be putting... Um, actually I shouldn't have bothered putting that um, flower there because I'm not going to see it but I probably will put like something there oh, right my hands are getting caught Come. so I'm just pushing this down just a bit further just because it's sticking up a bit too much and that glue is still warm so I can get away with it right okay I'm loving that now do I want a heart on um that's the question do we want any hearts on um or am i just filling it up for the sake of filling it up i think i'm just filling it up for the sake of filling it up i mean they look cute but yeah let's not Right, okay, so I'm going to leave you guys there for na for a moment. Well, for you, for us, it's a second because I am going to just leave this to dry naturally and then we're going to come back um, when it's dry. We're going to paint it all so that it's all one colour and then we're going to colour it up. Um, but, yeah, I think that's, that looks beautiful. So, yeah, so I will be back once, uh, yeah, once we're dry right okay we are back um so this is just about dry it's dry enough for me to be able to paint um so i've got my dal and rowley um gesso here and i'm going to use white um and what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint the whole thing now it's going to need because i'm using this one and not my 13 arts it will need about three coats um of gesso on it uh for it to be pure white so and I'm, I'm just using this one because it's a little bit thinner uh, so it's going to get into all of these uh, circles a lot nicer um, so yes yeah, so that's all I'm going to do so to not bore you with the gesso part of things what I'm going to do is I am going to go off camera do the uh, the three coats and then when it's completely dry we're going to come back um, and we're going to colour it in and make it all, um, yeah, all pretty and a perfect a gift as well. So I might need to get a smaller brush, I think. Um, so, yeah, so as you can see, just going over, even the leaves, everything is getting a good coat of gesso. What I did do off camera is I've just put a little, a couple of dobs of the glue gun for the owl. Um, while that's still definitely setting because I needed to put some more um, gel medium on so that stays stays put so um, yeah so I'm just gonna go in and then this where that dollop is anyway there will be I'm thinking I'm gonna put a flower on so 
so yeah so we're just going to go all the way around get it all nice and cohesive so it's all the same and then yeah I will be back and we'll finish it off so yeah I'll be back in a second right okay I'm back it's actually the next day so this is perfectly dry um now I've got out the colors that I would like to use so I think we'll go with pinks and a purple and I've also got some souffle out this is actually actually no it's a mixed media gloss paste crushed mirror um hopefully it hasn't dried out i'm hoping it hasn't dried out anyway um but yeah these are what i thought i would use today now i do need to get a pipette for this um you can use a paintbrush but um i've been using them with pipettes and they just i don't know there's just something about them that makes them really really nice um and i'm looking and i have no idea where they are right let's um let's grab one actually i'm going to grab a few other bits i'll be back in a second okay when i said i wanted to go and get other things i meant coffee <laughs> how bad is that right okay so um yeah let's go really i have got a couple of paintbrushes as well so if we need them um but i'm going to start off with these mica space so just use these on another project and there's only a little left and i thought actually i think it'll go perfect on here so i'm going to start off with spraying these now this one is pink carnation um and it's a very very light so it does actually look as though um there's not much in and then this one is gorgeous it's called strawberry ice and it's a sparkle spray so i'm hoping we've got enough to do uh, this so i'm just going to spray the whole of this just to give it sort of that shimmer okay so it's giving it a very light i mean you're not going to be able to see it and then i'm gonna spray until it runs out because it is just about to don't run out yet i haven't quite yeah there it is it's gone it's gone i knew i knew i had enough for one more in um right oh what a shame isn't it beautiful absolutely beautiful color right i'm gonna just spray this just to move that just around just a little bit i think oh this one's run out too excellent so yeah they've both run out but i have to say loving the look of those um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna dry this off <laughs> i'm also gonna have a sip of my coffee mm, that tastes so good it's my first coffee of the day so yeah first coffee of the day is just amazing right so yeah i'm gonna dry this off we're gonna come back i'm gonna add some purple in i'm thinking of maybe doing some dry brush brushing with the purple um and then maybe i'm um, actually i'm not 100 percent sure yet whether or not i want to add that so we shall see i am going to put some gloves on though because um yeah keep my hands clean because i've just realized that i've got a few other things that i need to do today in the studio and i don't want to be running backwards and forwards so uh yeah we're gonna put some gloves on anyway yeah i will be back once this is dry yeah and we'll see what it looks like right that is all dry it is looking gorgeous so i found this flower i only have one of them um but how beautiful oh my gloves are thinking does that flower just look there it just i don't know just brings it alive so we're going to use that as our embellishment and that is it for me that is unusual because i use a bit of everything um anyway i've put a little tiny bit of this mauve colored um oh what do you call it what do you call it guys um acrylic paint down and i'm just gonna water it give it like give it some water because i really want to add some of this in to the depths of and i'm just gonna dab it on now i've made it really watery um because i just find that having it quite watery it sort of flows better um, I was going to, um, oh, some of that um, stuff is still wet, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to leave this to dry naturally, I think. Um, oh, I like that. Yeah, let's leave this to dry naturally 
and see how it goes um, because I'm loving the darkness of that purple. Now, once this has dried completely, so I need this to dry um, perfectly before I come in, um, we're going to then use our white gesso to highlight all of those um, elements and the textures. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm literally going to pop on um, this. So then what that will be done and then we can then start on making the box for it so i will be back when this is completely dry right okay that is dry so we are going to do some dry brushing now and i am going to use my white gesso <laughs> um i'm saying that because i can't see it um i did have it oh am i thinking i've put it away right i'll have to use this one oh i found it it's behind my form of course it is uh, along with the souffle right okay so i'm just going to put some of this on my brush um and i'll just use the lid and we're just going to work it into the brush so dry brushing you want very little on your brush but you need to work it in and very loosely you're just going to go over the top i mean <laughs> that was probably a bit too too loose um and all it's going to do and you want to do it in layers but all it's going to do is it's going to bring out all of that texture so we're going to be able to see all that texture now because i am using water um water-based products for the coloring and on this it is going to turn the colors of my um of my gesso to a pinky color so that's one thing to be aware of if you use a water-based color um I mean it's looking good I'm liking it oh as you can see it's now got a nice a lovely pink color I just want some more on the owl I want the owl to really really show up so let's get some on the leaves right so I'm really liking how that's looking I'm just gonna wipe off that as much of that extra as I can and then get some more white because I want the, the leaves to have the white on so yeah okay oh, I love this I hope my friend Pat loves it um, she's amazing she's absolute gorgeous gorgeous lady right okay my husband's ringing I'll be back in a second Right, okay, I'm back. That was, my husband was on the phone. Right, what I've decided to do is just come in with a, a smaller brush with the white. Um, just, I mean, it is constantly getting... Let's get a white, actually. Um, just to take off it when it gets... Yeah, and then let's get some more white. Because um, I'm really wanting it to be white um the leaves it's sort of like I, I put the flower there just so that i can see i want it like a sort of a winter's look if that makes any sense i'm hoping it makes sense but yeah i'm just going to take off that and then just so yeah like frost shall we say um and i just think it brings out that um yeah that detail and just a little bit more just by putting it on now i am going to put some sparkle on because it wouldn't be me if we didn't and actually now i'm just gonna dab it on it just gives like a frosty look i don't know i'm liking it so just something a little bit different right i'm loving that i mean i think that's looking fab do you know what else i'm gonna do because this is a bit too in your face. I we going to, hang on. I'm going to put white on it as well because, yeah, it's just a bit too in your face. Um, so by putting the white on, we are actually toning it down like this. And I'm only slightly dabbing my brush into my gesso. Um, oh much 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 better so yeah i'm really pleased with that um so yeah gesso is honestly it's your best friend you can do so so much with it right so i have got this uh which is mixed media glossy paste and it's a crushed mirror now i'm hoping it hasn't dried out uh guess what 
it has oh, I'm oh, another one in the bin I'm so oh actually you know what we've got this I haven't even opened it yet that will go gorgeous this is Moonstone this is actually from Tonic Studios now what I need to get is that press and seal stuff that you can get I'm not I think I, the only place I'd be able to get it from is Amazon um because we don't sell it in our shops over here so maybe that's something right why did I put that in there because we need a brush for this right let me just wipe that off and then I'm just going to put some on the brush and what I want to do is actually put this and this is what I was going to do with the crushed ones put it on the leaves like so and it doesn't matter if, oh my goodness, this is going to look amazing. Because like I said, I just want this to look really good for my friend. Um, I'm going to pop a little, little bit in the eye. So the eyes are nice and sparkly. And then I'm just going to sort of dab it. Now I need to keep wiping off my brush, which is a bit annoying. Um, but I'm wiping it off just because... Um, it's picking up that pink okay and I'm just gonna put some of this glitter just on her name as well and when that's dry I think that's gonna look beautiful yeah there's not a lot on there um, at all but I do think get rid of you a sequin there there we go um, I do think it's gonna look gorgeous now I'm gonna heat my glue gun up so let's grab that um because i want to glue this on um so that it is adhered um also i'm not just going to rely on my glue gun for it though because it is like a plastic base and this is plastic as well i am also going to put um a nice chunk of gel medium on it um so that that covers it as well um so we'll get a, a um uh it adhere straight away use with the glue gun but it'll have a permanent adhesion with the um with the gel medium so um because if it was paper it would be different um yeah so i didn't say i've just put some to the side because i want it to sort of stick instantly um just so that i can put the book back together really um and then we can make whatever it is that we want to make now i was thinking that it may be nice to i'm going to put the book back together um it may be nice to make like a bag or something for this to go in um but i'm not quite sure how i'm going to go about it um because it, i mean i have a sewing machine but i don't want to do something for this um which requires a sewing machine um at all um so yeah right oh my goodness that looks so good right let's um tie that together okay just like so and then as soon as my glue gun has um heating up or warmed up that sounded wrong heating up that just does not sound right does it <laughs> oh sometimes i wonder i wonder if i uh yeah if i did actually learn the english language or not it is a very complex i think um the english language we talk about actually on monday with my friends about the english language and how a lot of it doesn't make sense look at that i've lost a bit of my my nail that's all down to um yeah down to i don't know <laughs> mixed media so oh there we go so as you can see i'm putting a nice dollop on because like i said i want it to stick instantly there we go i'm gonna turn that off again oh my goodness that looks amazing i am oh how beautiful is that oh i really hope my friend likes it right okay i am gonna get tidied up i'm gonna put all my mediums everything away um and then i'm gonna grab some i don't know yet i tell you what right i did a piece in i don't know where i put it though um i'm sort of looking around i did a piece for dawn and julia creates although i don't know if that video is going to be up so maybe no i can't use that oh well never mind right 
I'm going to have a think. I'll come back and we'll see what we're going to do with it. Right, okay. I have wool. We're going to crochet a sleeve for this. So it's going to be a bag where it comes over. So I'm going to need uh, three lengths of this um, and a little bit extra so that it can fold off. I think that would be nice. So I've just got some yarn here. This is, I got this actually from a charity shop. Um, I know it's like a baby yarn. Yeah, baby yarn in pink. Um, and this is all I've got left, but I'm sh and it goes really nicely with the book. So what we're going to do, so if you've never crocheted and you need to do it, um, then hopefully I can sort of show you how to do it. Uh, so you need your, let me use, move this out of the way. You need your, your yarn. You want to make a loop. So to make a loop, you just go around your fingers and bring it over the top. And then you just want to slip it underneath there and pull and that will give you your starting loop okay Just let me there we go and then what I want to do now once I've sorted that out is I want to do some chains so to chain you want to hold your yarn and then we're just going to bring that through over the the hook and bring it through that loop that's our first chain now i'm not sure how many i want to do but i'm going to repeat this until i get the, the length that i want so that's now i'm using the size seven hook because this is quite a chunky yarn okay and what i'm going to do i'm going to bring this in just for so yeah i definitely need some more Okay. Um, I reckon three more because we do want it a little bit bigger so I'm just holding it but what I'm doing is I'm making sure there's about an inch either side because we've got the thickness of this as well and then once I've got the desired length I'm going to do one more chain no two more chains sorry because we're going to do double crochet um, or triple it depends which, um, which what you're looking at but I'm just going to put the yarn around my hook and then I'm going to put it in the third chain from our hook so one two and three so I'm just going to put it in I'm going to put the yarn around the hook again and I'm going to bring it through so you'll have three loops on your um on your hook you're then going to bring the yarn over your hook again and pull it through two so you're left with two yarn over your hook again and pull it through the next two and you've just created your first stitch and we're wanting to do this all the way along so yarn over into the next chain um next to the one we've just done yarn over and pull through which leaves us with three and then yarn over pull through two leaves us with two the yarn over and pull through the next two and we're going to do this all the way along till we get to the end so yarn over i'll show you one more time and then we'll go super quick hopefully um yarn over into your next chain um pull it through yarn over go through the first two yarn over go through the last two and we're just going to do exactly the same all the way along right now i know what i'm doing with this let's um move that out the way so that it doesn't get caught okay so this yarn probably isn't the best one to teach you with the crochet because you can't really really see it very well but um you'll find that um on your yarn you do actually it does normally have a recommendation on what size to use so it actually recommends knitting needles of eight mil i'm using a seven mil so i'm just one under uh, but i couldn't find my eight mil so but they do normally have a recommendation on the packaging of what size hook or needles you need um so it's just um, so if you're not sure on sizing the other way that you can tell is when you put it in it should fit in nicely within that hook that's another way to tell whether or not it's the right size for you so yeah so let's go all the way to the end and then what I'll do is I'll show you how to turn and then I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do the amount that I need to do for this and then I'll show you how we um zip up the sides and make it into a little pouch 
Okay, I was going to get some material out and then I saw this yarn and I thought, you know what, actually, let's do something just that little bit different because, yeah, the whole point of this is craft for Christmas using your stash um, and using what we have. And this is what I have in my stash, so, yeah. Okay, nearly at the end. Um, I've got two left, I think. Okay, so yeah, this is the last one. Right, so do your last one. So there we go, that's our first line all done. You want to turn your work, so this side now becomes the beginning. And then what you want to do is you want to chain two. So there's my first chain. You then want to put yarn over your hook, miss this one that we're doing, and you want to go into your next um chain and then yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and there's your first two stitches done and then it's just the same in every stitch along there we're going to put a double so yarn over in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now when you first start crocheting holding your hook and your thread that is the worst <laughs> worst bit of learning once you've got that down it honestly is so easy but it does take a lot of trying to get used to it. i think it took me it took me a good couple of weeks of non-stop trying before i realized how to hold my hook so don't feel discouraged if um you know if your hook if you if you're not holding your hook right or if you you just not quite do it keep on practicing and watch loads of different videos of how people hold their hooks because there's so many different ways and eventually you will find the way that is um that is best for you so as you can see i mean this is crocheting up really nicely and really quickly so it's not going to take me too long uh to do um, so I'm just going to keep on going and what I'm going to do, um, when I get to, um, I'm going to measure as I'm, as I'm working. So I'll put it down like this and then I'm going to get my book and I'm going to just lay it on top, leaving half a, half a row just so that we can thingy it and then, um, sew it up. And then when I get to that, I'm going to count how many um, rows it is and then I'll times it by two and that's how many rows I'll do. But I'll come back when um, I've finished it so that we're ready to put the book in. So I'll be back in a second. Right, okay, so that is done. Uh, so we've got a nice uh, panel there. Um, and I have been going over of where I want it. So that's going to sort of go there and then I'm going to, so, so we're going to sort of stitch it like down the side so it's like a little envelope and then that's going to go over i'm going to put a little loop on and then we'll put a button on as well so now that i know where i want it let me just remove the book um so i'm just going to hold that in place where i want it actually do you know what um i'm just going to use this clip just there and then i haven't um taken off my yarn um, I've left it because I'm, I'm just going to crochet it in place. So we're just going to go through um, and I'm just going to pull the yarn through and then we're slip stitching so straight through that loop. And we're going to go all the way down connecting the, um, the edges. So I've gone in both sides. I'm going to pull the yarn through and then I'm going to pull it through that loop. Um, and we're doing that all the way. So just look for those edges. Um where they are and yeah just pull that yarn through um and this is just going to hold it into place for us um instead of stitching i hate like hand stitching so um yeah i prefer to do it crocheted um however if this is some if slip stitching isn't something that you like doing uh, you can just get a needle um a yarn needle and a sew it it's you know you can do both ways um but all i'm doing is I'm just making sure both sides are on my hook and then um slipping that through um that yarn and we're doing that all the way down and i am going to do it across the bottom as well because i don't want to cut my yarn off i'm going to be lazy um 
because I want to go all the way around. Now I've got a massive tub of buttons and I already know the style of button that I want. Um, so yeah, I want a nice big one. That one I will have to hand sew. Oh, it's coming. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, Dawn? Yeah, put it in. Right. There we go. Because I didn't have my yarn taut. Okay. So I'm just grabbing each layer and going through and it really does give a nice edge as well I mean you could do like a scallop edge or something to this and then actually no let's let's cut the yarn off stop being lazy Dawn because yeah I am very lazy sometimes at crafting so I just did a chain and then pulling that through so that's now attached then what I'm going to do is bring that yarn and we're going to just weave it um in and out of those slip stitches just to hide that end um yeah this is probably easier with a needle but um like i said being lazy okay so just making sure just to bring that in and then when you sort of a good decent amount because uh, you don't want the edges to sort of you don't want it to come undone so do weave those ends in um like so and then when you are quite a bit i like to give it a, a tug and then i trim it so i pull it to like the the you know how wide it's going to be right so let's remove this i'm going to do exactly the same on the other side the only difference is my yarn's not attached so i'm going to attach the yarn uh, so I'm going to start off at the top. I'm just going to put my um, hook through. I've just put my yarn over my finger like so, like that. And I'm going to pull that through to create a loop. So I've got that end and we're going to include this end in our slip stitching. So then I'm just going to go back through. I'm going to do exactly the same thing as what we've just done, except I'm putting that end in there as well so that I don't have to go back and weave it so um, let's get that in and I only need to do it with a few stitches um, and then it could be trimmed so we're just going to go all the way down like so so I'm just going to move that to the side because it's gone through enough now that I'm happy it's not going to come undone and it just means you're not going to get a knot at the top as well um so all the way down to the edge on this um like so okay um so i mean how lovely is this i already know what i'm going to do with the book um, i'm not going to say on the camera um because in case pat does see it so if pat sees it um she knows what she's getting but she won't know what i'm actually going to do with it um but yeah absolutely beautiful beautiful gift you can do all sorts um but i thought it'd be just something a little bit different adding in you know doing a crocheted bag for it like a little envelope for it rather than a box because we did a box last month with the earrings so um yeah right so we've done that so same again i'm just going to cut a piece off probably a bit too long that pull that down so it's nice and tight and then i'm going to go through and we're going to weave this in and out until we're happy that it's definitely not going to come undone like so okay this one's going so much nicer. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything, should I? Should, yep, yeah, definitely shouldn't have said anything. Right, there we go. So I'm going to keep going. I mean, it's probably fine now. But yeah, right, yeah. Do you know what? Give that a stretch and a pull just so that we know that it's fully in there. Cut that bit off. I'm going to cut that bit off. And there is our bag pouch all done. Now, um, let me grab my buttons. So, we have lots. Now, these were the ones that I was thinking because they're so gorgeous. 
actually I quite like that one but yeah um that's gonna go over now what I could do instead of putting one on if I used a smaller button it can actually just go through there so that's what I might do now I do need to get a needle and a thread so um because otherwise that's a thought where did I put all my thread oh. yeah this is the thing oh I know what where my needles and thread are ah, right let me go and get the needles and thread and I'll be back right okay I'm back so let's pop this in to the pouch which I mean that fits oh that fits lovely and the reason why I'm doing that is because I want it so so we need to put it in here okay now I am using black thread but you're not going to be able to really see it so I'm just going to anchor that in place okay and then I'm going to put do my needle through the holes and it is a two hole a uh, four hole one sorry so i'm just going to go through each of them twice and then we'll go around so the um the little stem bit i'll show you what i mean right last one okay so we're going to go through there and then i'm just going to wrap my thread around like that a couple of times just to make that easier to use and then we're going to tie it off with a knot so and it should should last so okay there we go and then i'm just going to trim that thread off okay let's pop that in there so i don't lose it and then now there we go it, it holds oh my goodness that looks so good <laughs> that looks adorable how lovely is that so the last thing that we need to do for this is this end so we are going to do the same as what we've just done and we are going to um grab this and we're going to weave it in um i really do recommend that you weave your ends in because your work otherwise can come undone if you cut close to where you finished so yeah um it's not a step i particularly enjoy doing i don't i don't know anybody who enjoys doing the the weaving of the ends in but um yeah don't skip this step so just all the way along and there we have it that is my make for let me just cut that off perfect so that is our make for um our craft for christmas this month so a nice book with a pouch to pop it in um how lovely is that and i've just used that ball of wool as like a tiny bit left um yeah literally like little little bits um but yeah oh my goodness i love it <laughs> i think it looks so cool so that is ready and if you wanted to you could actually turn this into a bag so you could put a nice strap on um but yeah just something a little bit different for you guys um so i hope you've enjoyed it do check out our lovely claire um and let's see how she has done because you know she's nailed it do you know she worries all the time that she's not good enough or she's not quite sure how to do it but you know what she's an amazing crafter she does know what she's doing she just needs a little bit more confidence uh, so please can you show her lots of love and tell her to stop panicking and to tell her that she's doing amazing and she is an amazing crafter so yeah i love it a bit <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching uh, please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber also please do go over and subscribe to our lovely claire and i will catch you guys in another crafting for christmas very soon but until then happy crafting bye